What's up, everybody? It's your boy Tolo's back with some Madden gameplay. Um, I bring you guys a lot of money games lately, but this game is actually not a money game. This is just a pride game. You know, <clears throat> me and a lot of my my boys, my day ones, you know, they uh, we like to play for pride. So, you know, a lot of you competitive guys, you guys know how that is. So right here, I'm playing Bless again. You know, my boy who plays, who's a starting quarterback for the New York Jets. So um, this is a very interesting game, and I actually bring you guys multiple games versus him because then me and him start playing for a little bit of money, you know, so here and there. So uh, let's get into it. So right here, Bless is coming out. You know, me and him and my a couple of my college teammates were on a group chat, my boy Zane. And we're always talking smack about Madden. So he's like, I got something for you. So I guess he want to take the Ravens, maybe run some uh, quarterback power at Lamar Mil or Lamar Jackson, excuse me. So, um, you know, I'll take the text and see what he's about. You know what I'm saying? So I just come out running the ball, trying to get a feel for what he wants to do on defense. <clears throat> right here, everything's pretty much locked. I tried to run a little bit. kind of got herky-jerky with the, with the quarterback. <laughs> see, I was like going back and forth with him. But uh, we end up getting the first down. Luckily, don't fumble. Not too much open right here. Just end up checking it down to Lamar Miller. Now we get to a, um, a second and seven. I'm running bunch right here. See, he's sending pressure off the edge. So I kind of I see Will Fuller over the top. I try to rack catch it. And uh, I drop it. And then because I was tapping X, I guess, and not holding it, I ended up diving on the ground. But luckily, you know, we still get the catch right there in the eight. So right here, we just run. Uh, try to get sticky with him. But he made a nice pursuit tackle. Get down to the six. Right here, trying to see what we could do. Trying to run a flat route, in route with the post. I should have just threw it to the post, wide open, touchdown, and then I tried the high ball. Good user by him, and I was kind of too locked on long to my read, which wasn't smart by me. So right here, uses the corner. Could have probably threw it to X anyway, but didn't really like what I see. Tried the high ball to Hopkins, and unfortunately, we drop it. You know, he has post flag elite, so I was hoping he would come down with it. But I'll take my field goal. I'm not too worried about it. I want to see what he comes out and does with these Ravens, you know. For, the guys who, for those of you guys who don't know, um, my boy Bless Zane and a couple other guys I have in Madden group chat. Not the one with all the YouTubers like Black Rain and Foreman. Them I have another Madden group chat. They're all real good Madden players, but you know what I'm saying they all do other stuff so they don't play as much competitively. But they've all done pretty well in the tournaments they've played in. Um, no one's ever made it less than the third round. And uh, sometimes you know we do they we do play for money here and there. It's not as much as like normal because almost every game I bring you guys is for money. So right here is made a nice RPO, which I did not think you could even throw an RPO to the tight end out of that formation. So Bless is obviously finding some new stuff right here. He always likes to find some, you know, little trickery here and there. So now he's just running the ball with uh, Mark Ingram. Kind of chewing the clock. We're almost to the end of the first quarter. <clears throat> he runs quarterback blast. For the most part, I'm pretty good quarterback blasty, so I'm not too worried about it. Right here runs read option. Good play by him. Hit me up the middle with uh, Mark Ingram. And I just couldn't catch him, so he ends up taking him down to the one-yard line. <clears throat> we hit him with a shoot string tackle right here. But right here, new quarterback blast is coming, trying to get there. But the quarter ends. So now i got to set up. I'm expecting quarterback blast again. Try to run 4-3. He just cut outside and fast break, which Madden did say they're fixing this year, which I'm, I'm excited about. But they, uh, you know, this year, you got to deal with it. He just burst in the end zone quick. So couldn't really stop that from the one. So now trying to run the ball a little bit. He's coming out big nickel over G. He's coming out either a man, cover four palms, or cover two. That's what Bless likes to run versus me. So right here, I shouldn't have, I should have did the upside. DeAndre Hopkins whooped Marlon Humphreys, but he was using the safety, and I still forced it. I thought I could fit it in there. But obviously, I couldn't, so that wasn't smart. Right here, run the ball up the middle. <clears throat> he gets a nice little run with Mark Ingram. Right here, he tries on like a nice little RPO scheme setup, but we make a nice user tackle with uh, Gibson right in there. So now, <clears throat> I'm just running my base cover three. You know, with my certain adjustments I make for the quarterback blast to keep him contained and keep him inside, you know, running. So, um... Right here, we run up the middle. He runs up the middle. We get a nice tackle on third down as we lag. So that was that was tough. So now we're going. Right here, he tries to send a little bit of a blitz. Not too much. We see DeAndre Hopkins. Thought I could have fit it in, but I didn't want to force it. So I tried to run with him. Uh, Deshaun Watson and um luckily we don't end up fumbling so right now I don't believe I'm on conservative sometimes I do sometimes I don't it depends on what team I'm using right here hit Lamar Miller on a nice wheel route I realized he wasn't covering the flats so we had that open you know just trying to take my check down didn't start off the game too hot but I know if we get a score right here before half you know we can make it a good game and he does get ball at half but I'm not too worried about that I just want to get points on the board right here I switched DeAndre Hopkins side as you guys can tell and hit my nice outside release fade if you play Press man with a receiver with good release. You can't press him. So I'm able to take it to the house right there. And we scored DeAndre Hopkins. So we take it 10-10. So now, 
no, I don't want to go many points before half and see if I can either get a, a stop and a score or just a stop so we go into halftime tied up. Because either way, you know, I'm happy. I'm looking good right now. I'm feeling good. Try to send the house right here. We end up getting to him, which was huge. He didn't try to roll out with Lamar. So we got to tackle Vernon Hargraves, who I actually played against in high school. And uh, he's trying to get sticky with Mark Ingram on third and 17, but I'll let him run the ball. I think he's going to go for it. If I was him, I'd punt the ball. He gets ball half, but he wants to go for it. So I end up sending the house. And uh, we end up getting the, the sack right there with Moore Jr. So now we're in the red zone already. You know, I definitely, like I said, he should have punted the ball. But these are sometimes the thing with Bless. He's actually a really good Madden player. He'll just put himself in situations like that sometimes if he needs to. So Bless, I hope you watch this and I'll be texting you about it later. But, you know, if he just does, if he just plays really like smart football throughout the game, he's actually a really tough opponent. He'll just sometimes almost give the game away to his opponent. And then he, it's hard for him to come back and capitalize on it, you know. And that's the biggest thing with me, too, is like that I do that sometimes, too. Like, you know, more often than not, I play pretty smart. But there's sometimes I will maybe make a, a dumb mistake or two. And that actually ends up costing the game because then you lose by three or four points when you should have been up by two or three. And it's just, you know, a whole different type of game. So he tried to hit me with a nice little sweep to Marquise Brown. Not too worried about that. Right here, running pistol, <clears throat> um, bunch pistol tight end. I haven't seen this formation in a while, to be honest with you. This is definitely an old man formation I used to run like a few years back. Tried to hit me with a nice little stop route right there able, as I sent the house where we get a nice hit animation. Now he runs five wide. I'm trying to blitz because he wants to, you know, I could tell he wants to uh, pass the ball. But now he all was down to a running. So now I'm trying to blitz the house, maybe do more so he can't get in and, and block it up. And right here he tries to hit me with a nice seam route. But um, luckily we were able to knock it down. He threw it quick, which was smart. But he actually, I think he had it blocked up or could have had it blocked up. So I don't know why he rushed it. But anyway, we end up running the ball up the middle. So we're good with that. Like I said, excuse me, he went down and went for it again on the 11. Or excuse me, I got the ball on the 11. But he went for it. I would have punted if I was him. You know, he hasn't been playing terrible defense. But he's going to be a short field. I'm going to take advantage of it. So end up scoring right there as we got sticky with Lamar. Now he's running quarterback blast again with Lamar Jackson. So he got six for 44, one touchdown. You know, his one touchdown was a one-yard run. Wasn't too worried about that. But he hasn't broke off any big ones. So that's good for us, you know. Right here, it's just run straight to the outside with Lamar. Gets to the edge, but we're not giving up big plays. I don't mind if you get a few chunk plays. But once I'm up 14, you're basically chewing the clock on yourself right here. So right here, he tries to hit me with a nice little power. Oh, very nice run. Got the first down on third and three. So right here, like I said, he's run the ball pretty well. So he hasn't been playing a terrible game. Like I said, he just goes for it and then puts himself in bad positions. Right here, tries to, he could have thrown it to the fullback right there. I got there late, but I ended up bringing the house and get a sack. So now second and 22. Tries to hit me with a stretch and a uh, RPO slant. Have that pretty boxed up. So now... Third and 23, and I know Bless if I get a stop, this is pretty much the game right here. So he ends up throwing it. I get a nice user pick with Gibson Sr. right there. End up trying to take it to the house, but he actually makes a nice tackle. We get the ball inside the 30 again, which was huge. So now I'm looking to go up 21 right here if I can. Run stretch right here. Um, end up trying to cut back right there, get the first down. Now we're inside the 20, but then he ends up, you know, quitting because I guess he couldn't stop it. You just see, I have 137 pass and he got 32. So, you know, like I said, the runners, they give you problems because this year Madden's a running game. But, you know, I feel like you still got to be able to pass the ball a little bit. But, hey, thank you guys for, uh, for watching this gameplay. Please watch the next gameplay and bring you guys a, a $50 money game versus Bless. And when I tell you it might be one of the best games of the year, it really might be one of the best games of the year. So stay tuned. Please subscribe if you have not. Please drop a like and I'll catch you on the next gameplay.